guys, Nota P here with uh, Nota Radius. And today we're doing a review on Alfocker Cherry with Mint. Now, we're smoking it out of my KM Trophy with three Chronicles, right? No, Cocoa Buzz. Cocoa Buzz Cold, sorry. And our house smokes custom funnel bowl. Apparently, that's all I work with now, but whatever. But uh, we've been smoking this for about 25 minutes or so. Getting pretty decent smoke out of it, but... Yeah, really quick what I want to say. Like, if you guys looked at my past video, the citrus with mint, I mean, same thing pretty much goes. Creativity level isn't all on a all-time low. I mean, it's pretty depressing that they're just mixing two flavors together instead of coming out with brand new flavors because I mean they obviously came out with mint they came out with cherry and now they're like maybe these people are too lazy and don't want to mix their blend so we'll just mix it for them and it's like come out with something new guys but I don't know I, I'm just so far disappointed it's crazy but he brought over a couple flavors we're gonna be doing constant reviews and hell, we might even get two hookahs going and do a double review, so... Just getting <clears throat> along with the review, shall we? Alright, first off, it does taste like cherry, but I taste absolutely very, very little mint, if there even is any in here. Yeah. So as far as I know, it's probably just cherry, and they just slap mint on there. But, smoke-wise... Typical Al Fokker clouds. I mean, they never really disappoint, but at the same time, <laughs> flavor wise, I could say differently. So it's, it just makes me mad to a point where I don't even want to do reviews on these, but I mean, you gotta do reviews whenever you're, they come out with something new, and I guess this is something new. But, new. and I mean, you can tell by the very creative little tub that they got <laughs> top is red bottoms green I'm guessing they put this much cherry in and that much mint <laughs> I don't know if that was the case it should yeah. be like a it, pinky nail of mint yeah. it, I don't know guys I mean give give me your opinions on what you think of Al Fokker now because I mean I mean I know they're the type of company that who really that doesn't have to worry about really a downfall because they're so popular and probably still one of the top three tobacco companies out there. But I mean, I think they're just getting too careless and they're gonna get passed up by other companies here really soon, so. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty smokable flavor still. It's It tastes like cherry, so if you're the cherry stuff, obviously it's a... Uh, yeah, and there's really not much cherry flavors out there in any other brands because it's such a hard flavor to try to actually get on point with. But I'd also recommend too, if you want that mint flavor in it, I'd probably recommend mixing just a little bit more mint in here because, yeah, yeah not enough mint for me, but here I'll let Derek smoke a little bit and tell what it is. Basically it does taste like a cherry, which that's probably what they set out to do in the first place, so they nailed that part, but mint wise, yeah, with with me though, like, the smell, when you initially smell this, it smells fucking amazing. But right when you start smoking it, like on the inhale, it, it's so warm. And when you smell it out of the tub, it, it smells so refreshing. So it's, it's kind of like, they really didn't get, get it there. But I mean, I never tasted a cherry before in my life. I just told him I like took a bite out of one and spit it out. But I mean, accordingly to him, it tastes exactly like a cherry, so we'll go with that. But other than that, I mean, creativity level, like I said, probably one out of 10. <laughs> Flavor overall, I'm not a huge fan of cherry, so I might give it like a four or five. I mean, I'm not doing this just to rip complete ass on Al Fokker, but I mean, like I said, it's it's just so disappointing. <laughs> yeah. 
I'd rate the flavor a little bit more. I'd probably give it like a six-ish, because I kind of like cherries, but yeah, it's nothing to write home to mom about, put it that way. It doesn't absolutely blow your mind. Yeah, so I mean, overall rating on flavor between both of us, I'd probably just give it a solid five. I mean, clo cloud output, cloud output, I mean, never disappoint, so. I mean, overall, just a 5 out of 10. Simple as that. So, I mean, like I said, let us know what you think about Alpaca coming out with their brand new flavors, apparently, and we'll talk about it in the comments below. So, if you guys like this video, like it. If you absolutely enjoyed it, share it with your friends. Be sure to let them know that if they have any questions or anything to shoot it my way and I'll be sure to do videos on it as always and most of all don't forget to subscribe subscribers help me and the bigger the community of the channel the more ideas we have and the more create creative videos we'll have going for you guys so overall rating 5 out of 10 this has been Nota Hookah leave you off with a couple clouds and that's pretty much it on this <laughs> wonderful flavor. So, yeah. <laughs> Just blows my mind. <laughs> but yeah, your guys' input though is definitely, definitely appreciated. Yeah. Thank you guys. Input helps a lot, but next review we're going to be doing after this bowl is grapefruit. Which, Very hesitant mm -hmm. about the smell. He said it smells good and tastes good, but I don't know. It smells like guava. I can't stand guava. It gives me headaches, but we'll see how it is. So, anything else to add? Not really, to be honest. All right. That's pretty much it. See you guys later. Stay tuned for the...